Today I want to talk about momentum. Momentum is everything. In anything that's worth doing, momentum is everything. And I think that there are three forms of momentum, three, three ways you can affect momentum in a given thing, right? And this whole show is about chasing dreams down. And we know that where you're at right now is not where you want to be. And we know that we're, we've, we've hopefully kind of formulated where you do want to be. So now we've got to figure out how to get from where you are to where you want to be. And I think that there are three ways that, that, that you can affect the speed at which you get there, right? Because that's what momentum is. So through the law of compensation, which we've been talking about up to now, we know that what you push through the equal sign, right? The thoughts, the words, the actions that you push through that equal sign is, is, is going to create momentum either upward or downward. So I think there are three, three forms of momentum. The first is proactivity, proaction, proactivity increases momentum. Okay. So at the outset of anything new, you got zero momentum this much. So there's an inertia, right? This is a physical law, right? Inactivity, inertia holds you where you are. And when you have zero momentum, then it takes a tremendous amount of proactivity to get going. Right at this stage, what other input is there other than proactivity? You you can't go. I mean, it's impossible to 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 be le to have less momentum than being still. So, proactivity is what is what you're going to use to get things going to create momentum from nothing. It just takes massive action, right? You have to be the prod. Like, like Churchill said, right? He said, he said, if any, I, I was never prodded. If anything, I was the prod. That's the case for anybody that, that does anything. That's the case for, that's, that's the case for achievers, right? Remember long ago, we talked about how, uh, about how not all dreamers are achievers, but all achievers are dreamers. Well, people who have, who are living out your dream right now are just people who have taken a massive amount of action in their past to get them there proactivity it takes a, a ton of effort but what's interesting though is that it takes it takes less effort over time because once you have momentum on your side it's 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 a force in and of itself right you don't you don't even need to be necessarily proactive to continue having that same amount of 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 momentum and one thing that i've learned for sure is is a little saying that says progress comes gradually and then all at once. So you work away, right? You're slaving away. You're, 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 you're acting in the direction of your dreams. You're, ha you're being proactive in relationship to your dreams and you're generating momentum, but, but you're doing it and you're doing it day after day, right? You're hitting the gym, you're hitting the gym, you're hitting the gym and you've been doing it for a week. You've been doing it for two weeks. You've been doing it for a month. You've been doing it for two months. You think, God, where is my progress, man? Can't even see any, I don't even have two more abs than I had before. Where is my progress? And then you wake up one day and it happens. Progress comes gradually and then all at once. And it's just like that saying, you know, I worked 10 years to become an overnight success. That is how it works. You hammer away and you hammer away and you hammer away and you hammer away. And then next thing you know, you cross some sort of invisible barrier and then you're just off to the races. Right. And so that's how you create momentum. That's how you build momentum. That's how you increase momentum. But OK, so now you've got let's so now let's say you've got some momentum that takes to, takes us to our second form of momentum, our second way of affecting momentum. And the second one says that re reactivity maintains momentum. So now that you've done the hard work of creating momentum from nothing, you're you're rolling right? Your environment expects you to be moving. Everybody around you starts to understand, oh, this is what this person's doing. Now, instead of earning every opportunity, opportunities start coming to you, which is pretty weird. So to maintain momentum, all you have to do is capitalize on those opportunities. 
reactivity ma- maintains a moment. You got momentum built. You're just taking advantage of the opportunities that are coming to you. You're not necessarily generating other opportunities. You're not generating new opportunities. The work that you've done in the past to, to create the momentum that you've built is what's bringing you those opportunities. As long as you don't let the people that are bringing you those opportunities down, then the momentum that you work so hard for will continue. Reactivity maintains momentum. Now, the third relationship to momentum, the, the, the third form of momentum, the, thir- the third way that you affect momentum says that inactivity decreases momentum. And this is where you got to be really careful because creating and maintaining momentum is hard as, as, you've, as we've talked about, as you know takes a ton of energy. It's exhausting. You don't get paid for what you thought you should get paid for, right? But when you take your foot off the gas altogether, you're going to start taking those opportunities that come your way for granted. And then you'll start assuming that they're always going to be there, even if you don't take advantage of them. And let me just give you a little insider's tip. They won't. If you don't take advantage of the opportunities that come your way, they won't keep coming your way your environment will learn that you don't want those opportunities you don't want to take advantage of them soon enough you'll stop receiving them that's why inactivity actually decreases momentum someone else is always there scratching and clawing to fill the void where your inactivity left just like you filled the void that someone else left when you were being proactive now that doesn't mean you can't miss a few You can't pull your foot off the gas. Sometimes it's important to pull the foot off the gas enough to give yourself the chance to figure out if you want to change course. That's a very important activity. But you better be careful because if you do it for too long, all that you've worked for will come screeching to a halt and you'll have to jumpstart it again with with energy, with with activity. And that can be really, really hard. There's nothing that will kill momentum like inactivity. So there you there you have it. Three forms of momentum, three ways of 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 relating to momentum. Proactivity increases momentum. Reactivity sustains momentum. Inactivity decreases momentum. Take that with you into the week. Use it, generate some momentum. See you next time. Before you go, though, if you haven't already, hit the link in the description. Sign up for the Friday Future Mapping newsletter, the Insiders newsletter, where all of the dreams and the techniques and the ideas and the interviews that you need to bring your dreams into the present are going to be delivered conveniently to your inbox. Second, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, comment on the video. Tell me what new next videos you want. Tell me why this video sucks. I want to get better at this. I'm working hard every day to make new videos so I can generate momentum in this medium. And I need your feedback, man. If you like it, if you subscribe, if you comment, that's going to put it in front of other people. And and that's important because I want this to reach every person that could find it useful and that could use it. Finally, connect with me on the social medias. If you don't want to just comment on here, if you want to have a more direct connection, I'd love to have you there. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Cody J. Cummings is what you is where you'll find me at. DM me. Comment on posts. Let's connect. I need your feedback though. I want to be, I want to be world class at this. And I know it doesn't happen overnight. I want to be world class at this and I need to know how. So please help me do that. Finally, if you need to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. I do that professionally here in Alabama. If you're here in Alabama, I'd love to do it. Me and my team, we'll do it. We'll bring you a world-class level of of service right here. But I got friends, I got partners across the country, across the continent, across the globe that deliver that same level of world-class service. And I would love to connect you with them because there's a lot of people in the industry that don't deliver that kind of service. and, And I don't want you to just fall into the hands of the wrong people. Let me connect you with the right people so I can guarantee that you're going to have an amazing experience. And I'd love to have the opportunity to do that. Other than that, I'm honored that you would spend so much time with me today. I hope you got a lot out of this and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.
Until then, get out there and chase those dreams down. I love you very much. See ya.